Well, here we are paddling. Lake LaBarge is kind of big. We've been going for, I guess, two, pushing three hours, and we have most of the lake to go still. Hello water. Never ending water. My crew's back there somewhere. I'm way faster in the kayak. But wow, it's a nice day out. So way down there, almost at the tip of my kayak where it's pointing, that's where Lake LaBarge kinda goes off into the distance and ends. That's where we're going. Well, second night camping, we're finally on the Yukon River. It's a lot faster paddling than it was going along the lake. The lake was quite a long one, two days of paddling, we're finally here. And here's a beautiful little camp we have on a little spit of land, I suppose. We're all drying out because there was a big storm over Lake LaBarge. Got kinda wet. Everybody's over in that tent right now playing some game and laughing. Not me. I guess I'm boring. Bye everybody. We are floating down the Yukon River. Pretty much what you see is what you get. Going at about a steady 10 kilometers per hour. And have about 600 or more kilometers to go. Well, we're taking a break. I'm not sure what time it is. And we parked at uh, Hootalinqua. And I guess this was a originally Northwest Mounted Police place that they had set up to, I don't know, get illegally transported goods of some kind. Cool place, Eli. Let's go walk this way. Okay. And we'll go check out this little cabin. Are you, are you allowed to go in it? I don't know. We'll find out. Right. The door is closed. But... Oh. Is there a lock on it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't oh, tried opening it. Bed springs. There bed we go. Springs. Ooh. Ah. And there's swarms of bugs around here. Shall we attempt to go in it? We can give it a shot. Go check the door. Is the door open? Hello, anybody home? I guess it's boarded up. So much for that. And here's Hudalenkwa out by the lake. This is a confluence of Yukon River and I believe the Teslin River. And there's some fellow canoeists out there. Still tiny specks. And it's a big chunk of the river. On a rather gorgeous but windy day. Okay, newest camp. It's uh, entertaining. Can't quite see the wind here, but it's kicked up like crazy. And overall, the camp's not too terrible. Kind of exposed. And there's a lot of mosquitoes here. And Mosquito Boy has come to save the day. Sarky's putting up the tent, or the uh, tarp. We even have a little spin on the camp. And the main problem was the entry point to this camp was kind of lousy, but we figured it out. And here's our river we've been going down for a few days now. This is third day? Yeah. No? Fourth day. Second day. No? Yeah, Not the third second day. day. Third, day. Third, third day. It's the third day. Campfire going. He's going crazy. Okay, I'm done. God love wind.
We're south of Big Salmon River. I'm floating. It's about two o'clock. Beautiful day. This is a camp near Carmax. Oh yeah, we're 50 kilometers before Carmax. We're 50 kilometers before Carmax. Went through a rainstorm. That's why things smoke so much. We're mostly settled in. This is day four, I believe. And there's our river way down there. Way off in the distance you can see the haze because we have massive forest fires all around us. Let's do a big walk through the bush here. What's that? There's a bajillion mosquitoes. Well, maybe I can't even get there. Let's see here. Because, oh man, is it smoky out there. It's all smoking haze. I wonder if we'll see a fire tomorrow as we go by. Majorly start to day five. We're just at Little Salmon Village. We're very close to it. And we'll head up to Carmax today and then beyond. I think we're actually going to stop at CarMax and do a bit of shopping. It's still pretty smoky out from the forest fires. Still on day five. But you can see the haze ahead from this forest fire. And the river here does some insane bend. Can we see it on the GPS? I don't think it'll show. Oh, I think I got it. We're the triangle. We're going now away from Dawson. Dawson's 285 in a straight line from here. And I better paddle to keep up with my crew. Still day five. These big sweeps in the river are amazing. I'm not steering so well without my paddles though. My boy is going crazy up there. The trees across the way echo and you can hear your voice answer back. I'm going to need to paddle here. Current's running me over to the left side. Just approaching CarMax. Don't know if you can see the bridge or not. It's in the distance there. Just stopping here for supplies and then we're moving on. Well, this is our most recent camp. Sort of a long day, not too bad. It's like 8.30 or something, I don't know, in the evening. You can kind of see how we had to get into this place again. Sort of nasty. Beautiful section of the river. And Five Finger Rapids is about 15 kilometers that direction. The river begins to narrow here. It's a lot of fun. Looking forward to canoeing and kayaking tomorrow. And there's my little kayak all up in the bush. So you can see the almost cliff we had to climb. And back here into the camp and the trees just beginning to set up. Eli. Hello. And 
Let's see, we've even got an outhouse back there. You can't see it on here too easily. But that's the only thing we've got. Just an outhouse. And so somewhere in here we'll be setting up our tents. Right there is your tent. And it's beautiful forest and in here. There is our tent. So there's the outhouse. It's got a little moon on it and everything. So we're living in luxury now. Ooh, look. Yeah. There's even a path going off to some cliff edges. So, until tomorrow.